This video was filmed on iPotato. What's up guys? And welcome back to the garage. Stupid. Here's all the metal I'm using for this project. It's all gonna be scrap metal, baby. We're going to start out with this oversized Nike sign. We're going to go ahead and cut it off like a mad ex-girlfriend. Then we're going to put it on this go-kart, make sure it's level, tack it on there to where the welds just fall right off the bone like some good ribs. Then we're going to sit by the fire for a little bit, glop over the nice gloppage that we already got going on, brush off the gloppage, and then we're going to stand back and admire the glop work. After the glop work was done, then I got an idea and I said, hey, wouldn't it be cool if, bam, we had a seat on there and then I got my buddy, hey buddy, come and try this. So then we got on and we did some moves around the yard, almost killed him, then it was back to business. Then I cut this thing off like an angry stepmom, then we put a shelf on it, boom, for our generator, bam, now we got some power for the TV. Now to move on to the front end. For the front end, I'm going to weld on this bad boy so I can put the TV on there later and we can spin the TV around, weld it all up real nice like put this on here that's where the tv is going to mount now onto the tv side we're going to cut this flat bar we're going to drill some holes in it for the tv to mount to cut the flat bar and get it ready to weld on then once it's all welded up then we got a tv on a go-kart baby i know you guys are all jealous moving on to the next thing we got to drill some holes so we can put some pins on so we can move the tv around when we want it we got to paint it then once the painting's done, I got a bunch of wires to deal with. Got to mount some stuff like those transformers in this battery. Once I got those mounted, then I got some switches installed. Then I got the switch panel for the underglow lights. Then we got some LED light bars and some corn dog action. And we got some heat shrink and the voice activated underglow ah, installed. Ah. After the underglow was installed, then I had to mount my PS2 on the back of the TV and make this little bracket so I could change the game if I wanted to. Then was the Apple TV so I could Netflix and chill it. Then was the hookup, and after the hookup I realized there is no way I'm going to be able to see through this thing. The only rusty dusty thing I could do from here is mount another TV on top of the TV showing a camera feed from what was in front of the go-kart. So then I got to work mounting this second TV on top of the other TV and that turned out great except for I made the mountain right in front of the HDMI port. So then I had to take it apart, chop it, weld it, and what have you. And then I put it back together, got the HDMI in, then I had to mount the camera, and then something magical happened. Sit on it. There you go. That's probably good right there. Awesome.